In this video, we are going to learn about Forticlient EMS and Microsoft Intune MDM integration with both Android and iOS devices and how to set it up. Let's see how this integration works. First, the mobile device enrolls with Intune MDM. Second, Forticlient EMS pushes ZTNA device certificate to Microsoft Intune. Microsoft Intune pushes the Forticlient app and the ZTNA device certificates to mobile devices. FortiClient then connects directly to FortiClient EMS to get profile updates and ZTNA tags. FortiClient can then access ZTNA applications and do device verification using the ZTNA certificate pushed by Intune MDM. The following checks are performed. First, ZTNA device certificate. Second, user authentication. And third, security posture check. Finally, access is then granted to the devices to ZTNA applications. Now, let's look at the steps to set this up. On the Microsoft Azure portal, click on Azure Active Directory. We will be creating a new app that will give API permissions to our Forti client EMS. To do so, click on App Registrations, then click on New Registration. Choose a meaningful name for your application. Then choose your account type. Once you are finished, click Register. Now we will configure the API permissions for our app. On the left, click API permissions, then click add a permission. Click on Microsoft Graph, then click application permissions. There are a few permissions that are required to integrate Microsoft Intune with FortiClient EMS. First, under application, select application read all. Then scroll down to device and under device, select device read all. Then, under Device Management Configuration, select Device Management Configuration Read Write All. Then, under Device Management Manage Devices, select Device Management Manage Devices Read All. Lastly, scroll down to Group, then under Group, select Group Read Write All. Once finished, click Add Permissions. There is one more permission we need to add. Click Add a permission again, then select Intune. Then click Application Permissions. Select SCEP Challenge Provider, then click Add Permissions. Configured permissions require an administrator's consent. In this video, we are already logged in as an administrator. Therefore, we can grant ourselves consent. Once consent is granted, the status of the permissions has changed to a green checkmark. Now we will configure a secret to authenticate EMS into our new app. On the left, click on Certificates and Secrets. Then click on New Client Secret. If desired, configure a description and expiry date. Then click Add. A secret string will be generated that will only appear once. Copy the secret string. Then go to EMS and enable MDM integration. For the vendor, select Microsoft Intune. For authorization type, select Client Secret. Then paste in your client secret. Ensure that you pasted the correct secret. To get your client ID, go back to Azure, then click on Overview. Then copy the application client ID. Then go back to EMS and paste it beside Client ID. To get the tenant ID, go back to Azure, then copy the directory tenant ID. Then go back to EMS and paste it beside tenant ID. Then click Test Connection to ensure that your configuration is correct. Then click Save. Once saved, EMS is now integrated with Microsoft Intune. Now we will enroll our device to Intune. To do this, a user account on Intune is needed. Here, we have already pre-made a user with basic properties. For a user to enroll their device, an Intune license is required. Here, this user has an Enterprise Mobility plus Security E3 license. The user also needs to be assigned to a group in order to push profiles and mobile applications. Here, our user is already assigned to a group. To push FortiClient to mobile devices, click on Apps. 
then click on iOS slash iPadOS, then click Add. For the app type, select iOS Store App. Then click Select. Click on Search the App Store, then type for the client. Find for the client, then click Select. Here, add app information as desired. Click Next when finished. Now we need to assign the app to users or groups. Click Add Group under Required. Select the group you want to assign the app to. Once selected, click Select. Then click Next, then click Create. Now our app for the client has been successfully created on Intune. We can also click on Properties to look at the app information and assignments. Here we can also edit the assignments if desired. And for an Android device, the process is similar. On the left, click on Apps. Then click on Android. On the top, click Add. Then for the app type, click Managed Google Play App. At the bottom, click Select. In a few seconds, the Google Play Store app should appear. In the search bar, search for Forty Client. Then click on Forty Client. Then click Select. Then at the top, click Sync. There will be a message saying that the managed Google Play Sync is in progress. Refresh the apps list after a few seconds. After refreshing, you should see Forty Client with the type of managed Google Play Store app. Click on it. Then click Properties. Beside Assignments, click Edit. Then, under Required, click Add Group. Select the group you want to assign the app to. Once finished, click Select. Then at the bottom, click Review and Save. Review your assignments. Once satisfied, click Save. Navigate back to Apps. Now we will be creating an app configuration policy for Forte Client. On the left, click on App Configuration Policies. Then click on Add Managed Devices. Enter a name for the policy. You can also add a description. For a platform, select iOS slash iPad OS. Then click Select App and Find for the Client. Once selected, click OK. The targeted app should be for the client or your desired app name. Click Next. For the configuration settings format, click Use Configuration Designer. For the configuration key, Enter Intune underscore device underscore ID. For the value type, enter string. For the configuration value, enter the value displayed on the screen. You may also add other key value pairs listed in our documentation. You can also specify an invitation code to allow FortiClient to automatically connect to FortiClient EMS upon opening the FortiClient app. For the configuration key, use invitation underscore code with the value type of string and paste your FortiClient EMS invitation code. Click Next when finished. Now we will assign the app configuration policy. Under Included Groups, click Add Groups. Select the group you want to assign the policy to. This should be the same group assigned for the Forty Client app. Click Select when finished. Then click Next. Review the app configuration policy. Once satisfied, click Create. On the device, we will now start the enrollment process. The Microsoft Company Portal app is needed to enroll the device. You can download it on the App Store. Once installed, open the app and sign in to the user created earlier. After signing in, follow the enrollment process and download the profile. Install the profile by going to Settings, VPN and Device Management, clicking the Downloaded Profile, and clicking Install. Enter your passcode, then click Install. If you get a warning, click Install one more time. Then, click Trust. Go back to the Company Portal app and complete the enrollment process. Once enrolled, Forta Client should be automatically installed. If not, you can request to install in the Company Portal app. Once Forta Client is installed, Register to the MDM Integrated EMS. Upon opening for the client, 
If using an invitation code from FortiClient EMS, FortiClient will automatically connect to FortiClient EMS. Once connected, the device should receive a SCEP certificate in the background. To test this certificate, try to navigate to internal resources that are behind a ZTNA server. The browser should ask for a ZTNA certificate. After entering user credentials that are configured on the ZTNA server, you will be able to access internal resources. Additionally, to confirm if the SCEP or ZTNA certificate is installed on the device, you can check the device on EMS dashboard and look for MDM deployment status installed. With this, we have learned how to integrate Microsoft Intune with FortiClient EMS, install FortiClient automatically on mobile devices, and deploy ZTNA certificates on both iOS and Android. This will contribute to establishing and expanding a zero-trust network for mobile devices.